Moving on to the next question from Brian. So Brian asked me, is there another opportunity for a company rather than just Spartan Bioscience to manufacture the rapid COVID-19 testing kit? So what we're gonna do is I wanna roll you a video from one of my colleagues from Saskatchewan, Jeremy Patzer, who's asked the Minister of Health about delays in approving over 50 alternatives to Spartan Bioscience. We're gonna roll that video for you right now. Yeah, there's somewhere, I think about 53 to 55 different uh, uh, tests you know, waiting for approval through Health Canada and in regards to the testing for antibodies. Just wondering uh, where we're at with the approval process on those particular tests. 10 seconds. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Uh, the Health Canada approval process is expedited, but as I said, we are focused on making sure that nothing is approved that would give false uh, positives or negatives to Canadians. As you can imagine, that would be extremely dangerous. The Honourable Member for Joliet. So there you have the answer. Um, on the breaking of the patent, because I know, Brian, you asked me that question really, really specifically, just looking over your email one more time. Uh, you asked me specifically whether that would be possible to do. So Section 12 of Bill C-13, that was the law passed all in one day, is the emergency bill. So it allows the Minister of Health, it was an amendment to the Patent Act, and it provides for the ability to the minister uh, to basically, what I call, in short, breaking a patent make opening it up to others. But there's already 50 other alternatives to that Spartan bioscience uh, owned uh, cube, so to speak. Uh, and Alberta's already spending $9.5 billion to buy 250 Spartan cubes to do 100,000 uh, and, and 100,000 testing kits to the province. Now, um, Spartan bioscience estimates it can produce 1.5 million of these tests every single month. And our 50 other alternatives also, but they're still waiting for Health Canada to approve them. And again, this can change day by day, of course. Um, the government has set aside $2 billion to buy equipment and testing kits and to uh, you know, shore up those critical health supplies that they need. So it's up to the Minister of Health to decide whether she needs to do that, whether she needs to use that power. But right now, I, I just don't think that there, it's a requirement. And you saw it happen with ventilators. There were companies that were saying, we can produce ventilators, you just need to tell us how many. And they were willing to sell the intellectual property to other manufacturers who had the capacity to build to actually get more ventilators onto uh, the market and make them available to provinces and the federal government. Now, I'm always literally about government intervening so directly into this type of business uh, and possibly breaking the the business model for the company. And in this case, the company is producing enough for everybody. And there are 50 other options. There are also other companies in Canada who are producing different types of testing kits, Brian. So hopefully uh, that will give you some type of assurance that you know there are many, many options available out there. Um, and we just haven't taken advantage of all of them just yet and that the federal government could be doing a little bit more.